A slow-acting invasive species is threatening millions of trees in Michigan and thousands of them in Ottawa County. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter Noel Fromson explains how they got here and what's being done to try and stop its spread. The Adelgid, or HWA, have already made their way to several West Michigan counties, including right here in Ottawa. But experts say there's still time and ways to save the hemlock trees. Walking through the forest, uh, there's a little bit under this one. Drew Rayner is going branch by branch. Once they attach to a tree, they, they don't come off. Looking for the smallest killers. These insects are going to line up at the base of the needles right on the branch, um, and you won't even really be able to see them. And then they feed on the, the tree's nutrients all winter. The hemlock woolly adelgid came from Japan and have spread to four counties along the lakeshore. They're threatening over 3,000 trees in Grand Haven's Mulligan's Hollow and Duncan Woods areas and other private property. Normally we don't see tree mortality for seven to 10 years. So um, it's a slow acting pest where emerald ash borers are really fast acting. The trees were dead really fast. You can live with HWA for a long time. Rainer works with the Ottawa Conservation District, a local resource management agency. He and a group at Grand Valley State are researching the HWA and how quickly they're hitting the lakeshore. So it'll spread by birds, humans, um, the wind, uh, pretty much anything can spread this. The sooner you act, the easier and cheaper it is. Grand Haven City Manager Pat McGinnis says they're working with the researchers on stopping HWA, which is still fairly isolated in the city's natural areas. You know, within 45 to 60 days, be able to act and, and make something happen this year uh, to protect this wonderful species of trees that we have throughout our natural areas. McGinnis and Rainer estimate it will cost around forty to fifty thousand dollars to remove the pests. We're still at a, a place where we could get control of this one and and prolong the spread to some of these other areas. Our overall goal is protecting hemlocks in the whole state. In Grand Haven, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.